Hey, welcome back to another episode. My name is Conrad and this is Forge Space. On this episode, we're still on the 944, trucking along, trying to get it done. So on this episode, I'm gonna tackle the intercooler. Right now you can see kinda, it's got the inlet outlet horizontal. And then I'd have to loop at 90 in order to make it work. What I wanna do is I wanna take and put a 90 coming off the top of the intercooler and just straight back right on the outsides of a radiator. And then that's gonna go right to the turbo, shortest path, same on this side, shortest path to the, in, to the intake manifold. So with that being said, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put the vacuum on reverse, on blow on one end of this. That way as we're putting a hole in the top of the end tank, it's blowing it all out so we don't get any debris on the inside. And then, we're gonna weld on our 90s to the top of this. And for those, I have two and a half inch right here and I got two 90s. So obviously I'm gonna have to take this apart. This was just something from before, but this 90 is gonna come down right here and just go straight back from there. And same thing on the other side. Stay tuned. And this tire is damn sticky. <laughs> Before we get started on doing the end tanks, I need to mount it up. So we're gonna take and make some uh, basically L angles come up and then straight out. So we got a point here and a point there, and we're gonna get it, get this mounted up on here permanently, and then we'll work on it from that point on. So it's all welded up. <clears throat> Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put our intercooler back up here. And mark out where we need to put our holes. Let's see, let's see, where's my pen? There it is. Now we can go ahead and do our tubes up. So I'll put the throttle body back on. We'll put our blow off valve here in place and we can see exactly how we need to position everything.
good. We're gonna put the feet on it. I already got that. It's all prepped, ready to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put our vacuum right on here and just let it, let it suck the air out. So as I'm drilling into this with a two and a half inch full saw right here, it's sucking all that debris out. So let's go ahead and do this and we'll keep on going. For some reason the camera didn't record it, but we want I went ahead, it's all welded up on this side. Now we gotta do the same thing for the other side and then cap this end and die. So let's go ahead and close these in. this down my tubing cutter only goes to two and a half inches and this is a three inch so I need I need to cut it with a sawzall so go ahead and do that and then uh, I need to order these two couplings so it's just gonna be two straight ones and then on this side I need to figure out exactly what I'm gonna do on this side for the tubing 
I think I'm gonna do two and a half all the way back to the turbo. And then I think I have a 90 reduction. So we'll do that. Well, I managed to scrounge up one coupler. What's it look like? Looks clear. So, have our straight. If I can get it on here. Come on, come on, there it is. And then that's gonna go right, 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 right brown, baby, right brown. So all we need is our last coupler, three through three and a half, I believe. So not too shabby. Like I said, we'll still have to tackle the other side. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. Uh, for now, I'm out of gas, uh, but the intercooler is done. So that's gonna be it for today. And I'll catch you all on the next episode. Thanks for watching.